Welcome to Pixel Composer 1.19.10 So this version was supposed to only be about the new Steam Workshop browsers but I managed to add some other features in it as well so we're gonna talk about that first Alright, we have four new nodes in this version The first one is a uh, Fluffify All it does is it turns your normal shapes into a fluff shape, right? It basically just a node made to generate cloud texture. You can also use stuff like scatter to create this effect as well. But it's a lot more cumbersome than, than I thought when I tried to do it. And I found that making a node specifically for this makes it a lot easier. Right? And you have all the property here. You can control the scale of the scattering. Or you can control this size property control like the level of detail. And there's a lot of control in here that you can use to create the cloud that you want. The next is a maze pattern generator. So as the name suggests, you, it just generates mask. In the example, I even gave it custom mask to generate a mask containing this mask. The mask pattern is not something that you can do easily using the already existed node. So I figured I'm gonna create a new node just for that. Next is the MK panels. So this node is a node specifically made to generate like industrial looking panels. You have a lot of control with this one. Because I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna make the node specific, I want it to be as useful as possible. So you can control basically everything here. We even have like a short tutorial. It's based on this symbol system. So you tell it the symbols or setup operation you want. And it's just gonna keep randomizing, selecting new operations from these patterns, and then do all kind of effect on it. I can do split X, split Y. And we also have the shape patterns that control how you draw, what shape you want to draw, and all the special effects you can add to the shape itself. And you can randomize it to get a different effect. How the time I spent working on this is just like, Pressing on random seed to see what kind of cool effect, cool image is generated. And then we have the blend depth. So this node is to be used with the 2D extrude node. And what it does is it will blend two images using depth data. So it can be useful for 2D extrude and it can also be useful with output from 3D camera. The depth data is basically a grayscale image like this. It will just blend based on the depth information, which will allow you to merge the two objects in a, in a natural way. In the example, you're gonna see that combine these shapes in a way that it inserts into each other right normally if you want to do this kind of effect you have to like separate the bottom part here right and then you just have to layer it one by one and it allows you to do like more stuff as well like here i use custom gradient as a depth to insert this shape in the middle again if you want to do this normally is you have to like separate it into pieces it is difficult to do now with blend depth you can do it just by connecting and you can control the depth range as well because of black and white here and like the black and white here can be in a different range right as you can see so you can control the, the range of each depth map to get the effect that you want we also have improvement to other nodes uh, the full is going to be in the description and there's also improvement on the user interface as you may already notice that when you're hovering on the output it will now preview on the graph itself and next would be the part that i spend the most time on which is the new steam workshop browser inside the software itself so you can access it from the splash screen but you can see this steam workshop icon or you, you can go to the top right on this online account you'll be able to see the steam workshop and this is a new workshop browser right you can just view all the workshop content in there you can filter it by different tags you can sort it right you can click on it to view more content by right? subscribe and all the action here now you're gonna see that by default, you cannot vote or comment because the Steam API doesn't allow me to interact with the voting system or the comment system. So I cannot get that Steam comment and I cannot post new Steam comment and vote. However, I create like a new server and then handle the voting and the commenting. I just call it PXC Hub. So if you click on like some of the older project, it's gonna say like, it's gonna say here not linked to PXC Hub. Just because it's an older project, the creator have to manually link it but all the newer projects upload to Steam Workshop will should be automatically linked to uh, the PXC Hub and once you do that, you'll be able to vote and comment Here I click on my own project This is a project that I made myself so I can edit the detail I can change the name, I can change the description and I can also change the tag I can also add custom tag which is also a new thing in this version and when you click on the username you can view the, the creator page as well Right with all this information, there's even like this batch system that I implement really badly by the way. So like don't don't take it seriously, it's just like batch when you do something special. Like you upload 25 project, get 10 upload, blah blah blah. It's just me playing around at this point. Right, you can check the more popular work, more recent work and all the stuff that's being made by Dropbeat, which is a huge, huge user 
on both Discord channel and on Steam Workshop as well. That's not all. So if you go to your page on this top left here, you will be able to change the detail. You can change your profile description. And this is separate from the Steam profile description, right? This is just for Pixel Composer. You can change or rearrange your badge. You can add links to different social media. You cannot rename or change your profile picture. This is based on your Steam username and Steam profile picture. However, for Patreon supporter, you can upload custom profile picture graph. So you can upload Pixel Composer graph to render on your profile image. Like in this case, you're gonna see this, this profile effect is actually it another pixel composer graph being run in the background now i have disabled stuff like the the http get or like shell executable you don't want it to execute some random shell you click on someone's profile right but you can do all the all the basic pixel composer stuff in here and yeah you can edit your profile you can you know add or remove section to showcase your content you can see that i spent a lot of time here it's actually really different from other stuff that i do in the software so like i have a lot of fun also if you are a patreon supporter you can also access all of your Patreon project right in these panels. And as usual, we have a series of bug fix showing you on your screen right now. So yeah, that will be it for today's video. Thank you everyone for watching. Special thanks for all the Patreon supporters. And see you in the next one.